Hi there, it's Cheryl with JuicingGarter.com, and today is my first video in the kitchen with my new phone camera. I think it's going to be a lot better picture for you. So usually I show you when I make juices, but today I had a marathon and I made a lot of different juices as you can see. So I just thought it was too good of a day not to share with you what I did. I was kind of cleaning out the refrigerator, had a lot of produce in there, and I haven't been juicing as much as I'd like to. I've been mostly doing smoothies because they're easier and they're faster, um, but I really missed juicing, so I'm, I really did it up today. Um, so the first three are primarily carrot, apple, and cucumber. They're a little foamy. And then I added ginger and lemon and I also freeze my pineapple cores. In the summer we do a lot of pineapples because they're so yummy and I freeze the cores because they're good to juice. You can't put them in a smoothie. They're too coarse. They're too tough. Um, so I pulled those out of the freezer, defrosted them and put those in. So this will be kind of a sweet juice um, but it's still got some really good nutrition in it as well. So I really like that one. And then this one is kale stems, only the stems, and grapes, and red grapes, and a couple Granny Smith apples. Now, the kale stems, if you'll see some of my other videos, I had this major haul of kale, like boxes and boxes of kale, so I had more stems than I could juice as I went, so I froze them. I was going out of town and I didn't want to throw them out, so I froze them. Well, I defrosted them today, and they were kind of mushy, and they did not juice well, so I don't recommend juicing already frozen kale stems because they were mushy and they came out like pudding just this green pudding stuff and it's still got good nutrition in it um, really strong smell you know kind of the broccoli cru cruciferous smell of the kale and I know it's good for me but I would have gotten a lot more juice had I um, juiced them right away when they were fresh and these were big huge leaves big stems so and then to sweeten up the bitter taste of the kale I put in the grape and apple so actually they look like very different <laughs> They settle differently. One obviously has more grape than apple. Um, so I'll give that a good shake and drink that down. And then my favorite, I'm a true orange juice lover, and I had a couple pink grapefruits, so I just did those. I almost always have some kind of citrus fruit in there. Oh, and in the freezer, I have uh, I, I did about 12 lemons because I like to drink lemon water, a quarter lemon water in the morning. And sometimes when I'm on the run, I will not drink my water because I don't have time to squeeze the lemons. So I've actually started uh, putting some lemon juice in the freezer, fresh. And then I put it out the night before in the fridge. And then I can have my lemon juice every day without having to pull out the juicer every day. So anyway, those are my juices for the day. It took a couple hours. But I will drink these tomorrow, today and tomorrow. And I'm one of those people who I don't have, you know, juice every single day. Um, I don't mind if I drink them for several days in a row. Okay, um, hope you enjoyed this. And let me know if you do uh, marathons like this. What's your favorite juice? Um, drop down and let me know what you think in the comments. I'd sure love to hear your ideas. And if you love the video, we'd love you to give us a thumbs up. Sure, appreciate it. And I will see you on the next video. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Bye.